Trade Desk CEO Jeff Green on ad fraud, connected TV, China and the data marketplace. For marketers, it's likely that their digital advertising budgets will flow through Trade Desk at some point since the buy-side programmatic platform grabbing share in areas such as connected TV, web, mobile and audio. Trade Desk, an independent ad platform, delivered strong third-quarter revenue growth and earnings as it competes against giants for a piece of the ad revenue pie. For marketers, Trade Desk has become a key partner due to its independence, buy-side focus and customer service. The company reported third-quarter net income of $10.2 million, or $0.23 cents a share, on revenue of $79.4 million, up 50% from a year ago. Trade Desk recently launched a successful IPO. The company is writing mobile advertising, in-app opportunities and connected TV as key channels and navigating a downturn in spending from consumer product goods companies and retailers. Trade Desk is projecting fourth quarter revenue of $101 million and $306 million for the year. We caught up with Trade Desk CEO Jeff Green to talk shop and the technology behind the ad market. Here are the highlights from my conversation with Green. The emergence of connected TV and audio. Trade Desk said on its third quarter earnings call that connected TV revenue was up 159% with audio up 21%. Now these channels are new, but show potential. Green said Roku is benefiting from connected TV advertising, but other services like Crackle are faring well too. Why? Green said that it's clear consumers are going to over-the-top applications like Amazon and Netflix and cutting the cable cord. The reality is 70% of American households already subscribe to Netflix. And 70% of households pay for cable. Run the numbers, and it's likely that consumers are going to hit pause on adding yet another subscription. Enter the connected TV ad models. Connected TV inventory has gone up 10x, said Green. To us that is quantifiable proof the consumer is being tapped out and interested in ad-funded models from the Hewless, Rokas, and Crackles. Audio advertising is also going programmatic due to services such as Pandora and Spotify, said Green. You can't replicate radio advertising for these services because traditional ads aren't targeted, said Green. Programmatic can give the customer a better experience and customize what is showing. How will Trade Desk's data marketplace differ from all the other ones in the marketplace? Green outlined how Trade Desk is creating its own anonymized data marketplace so marketers can go cross device per person. Trade Desk acquired AdBrain to get a jump start on its data marketplace and has invested millions of dollars to get access to hundreds of millions of anonymized user IDs to bridge screens. I noted that Adobe, Oracle, Axiom, and others all have data marketplaces. Green said its data efforts will complement those data services and the potential lies in Trade Desk's position in the sales funnel. The thing that puts us in a strong position is that we're a data marketplace at the point of consumption. Think about how it's easier to sell candy bars at the cash register, said Green. We monetize at the point of consumption and are a trusted partner. We're not competing with those data companies, but bringing them together. Battling ad fraud. Trade Desk was one of the key drivers of ad.txt, an effort to combat ad fraud. Green explained the idea behind ad.txt on Trade Desk's third quarter conference call. However, ad fraud quickly followed on large sports sites. How will Trade Desk combat fraud? Green said it is already blocking fraud for ad.txt and unauthorized traffic. Green said that the ad.txt effort was about narrowing the sky to create a well of quality inventory. Narrowing it down does a lot, so we can be more intelligent. I'm proud of the fact we promoted and encouraged ad.txt as much as any company out there, said Green. We're making sure that bots aren't generating and buying the traffic. If successful, CPMs will go up because it's fine to pay a few pennies more to know it's a human being seeing the ad. Trade Desk has worked closely with WhiteOps, a cybersecurity company focused on stopping robots and ad fraud with artificial intelligence. 
Green was optimistic about the industry's ability to battle a ad fraud. Ad fraud is easier to spot due to the economics. You have to commit fraud so many times to make money. The industry has done more in 2017 to stop ad fraud than any year previously, said Green. Green acknowledged that battling ad fraud will be an ongoing effort that will include artificial intelligence, machine learning and industry coordination. I'd argue that it remains to be seen whether the ad industry players can coordinate enough to harness machine learning and create the systems to combat cybercrime. Google has the AI and machine learning expertise and Facebook is building it, but the entire